Well, I and here's a bit of an impromptu. I'm going to Gerard Green from Vital Signs Consulting. How are you, Gerard? Good, thank you, Michael. Oh, Gerard, you were just doing a show about how people give in and they quit and how to get past those excuses. And I thought some people look at a show like this and think it goes without a hitch. There's your own laughing but Yes. Well, we had an issue this morning before your latest show got released. We tried to do Zoom, didn't we? No, I think it's the first time Kathleen is over east. Uh, so she had to join us uh, with the recording today from Brisbane. And we thought it was going to be smooth sailing. <laughs> And what we did, we took the Mac that had the Zoom on it and we plugged it into the ATM switcher because everything in the studio runs through the ATM switcher and it made our sound disappear. Well, we had two out of three and then one out of three and then we could hear Kathleen and then you can't hear me and then I hear myself and then we can't, you can't hear us. And then we tried the phone. That would echo. That would echo and we tried all sorts. And the point I was going to make on this was it doesn't always run smooth when you come to the studio. There's always a challenge of some sort, but your attitude is what gets you, breaks that barrier down. Well, for me, it's I thought we're going to not record today, that you will have to go and buy Navi equipment, um, and you just didn't stop. Mm. You just kept on, kept on, and eventually I thought, okay, I've lost my mojo today. Uh, let's let's reschedule, and you just said, no, we're going to do it. Hey, I think that's the important point, isn't it? Because sometimes we get knocked around in business and we lose our mojo, don't we? We, we? We're pumped, we're ready for it, and then things start, the wheels start Not falling off. off. Yeah. And then we get it fixed, but when we get it fixed, we kind of go, well, I'm not in the mood. How did you go from, and I think this is important to share, but I want people to understand it isn't, it's, it's difficult, you are a coach as well, but you actually practice it. How do you get past that? When everything's gone wrong, the mojo's gone, and all of a sudden it goes, hey, I've worked it out, we're ready to go, and you're going, Really, I'm ready to go home. <laughs> um, I think you know you you have to do what you preach to your clients, um, and I just use the SOS stop, right, and observe. I'm starting to make an excuse here. And my strategy is is well, let's sit down. You make me a cup of tea. Um, I sat down and I just refocused mm. and said, well, we're not going to go home today until this is done. So mm. I use a strategy just to refocus me again. Now, the SOS, and please watch the show, and you've got the Worldwide Business Club as yes. well now on uh, Patreon, and that's just about to launch, so please check that out. And the first thing, because you're, you're doing this as a bit of a series of programs yes. to help people, but when you use SOS, so they hear these techniques, and they go, okay, so you stop, you, you observe, then you strategize again, and people go, yeah, that sounds easy, but you actually do it. How did you manage to work through those steps for yourself? It takes practice, and, and this SOS has taken me 15 years. Uh, but, but what happens is with your brain is, is when you, you first hear SOS, you, something happens, then you react to it, and then your brain says, remember SOS, then you stop yourself. The more you practice using SOS, the quicker your brain kicks in. Mm. So as soon as you realize, well, I'm going to make an excuse, you stop, observe, strategize. So you don't only use it once, you have to keep on using the strategies all the time. It's not a once-off. And the same in business, you have to keep on practicing um, these strategies. And I think this is one of the things you're doing with the club. You're going to bring, because you say about these strategies, you're going to bring a strategy to the table. But behind the strategy, I think this is going to differentiate this club from anything else. You're bringing tools for people to use as well. Um, the thing is, is, you need to see what tool I'm going to use because sometimes you have a strategy like SOS, but when you're in a situation, it's just, I need a tool to do this. Um, and the whole idea is to have a, a method, a tool, and a strategy. And if that becomes part of your habits, um, you don't even think about it. Your, your brain will just take that one and that one and let's implement. Let it implement. Yeah. When you, someone may, or may have watched, they may have watched that show and they go, oh, it didn't sound like you had it to me. You just ran oh, no. <laughs> What happens when, you, when you're when you consulting with someone and you do a lot of the higher end stuff, you do your virtual general manager stuff, you do your executive stuff, and people hit the brick wall and go, I just can't, Gerard. How do you get them to break that I just can't to the I can? I think, first of all, when you're in a situation, you need somebody that's outside, mm. um, to say, let's just stop, 
observe what's happening here while I need to report. So what is the strategy? So let's see what is the problem. You know, what worked, what didn't work, what do I need to stop to do? So what tool are we going to use? We're going to use scissor. You know, what do I need to change, include, create, remove? And once, like that <laughs> one. <laughs> um, and once, once you take that, that tool, implement it, and then suddenly, you know, a team of 20 things, you said, no, we're not going to do 20 things. What is the most important? This is the one thing. Once they see the results from the one thing, they move forward again. But it is just that sometimes you need somebody from the outside. And I tell my, my clients that if you hit that brick wall, call me. You know, um, maybe I can't take a call now, but sometimes it's just that five minutes that you need to say, you know what, I just need some help, and I just take you through and, and help you. But it is not giving up. Yes. It's never to give up. It's one thing, uh, it's mentioned a couple of things, and one with the, with the Worldwide Business Club, there is going to be a team of four where yes. people can help each other, as yes. well as you and Kathleen jumping in. But I think that never giving up and having that access to those tools is super, super valuable. With the Worldwide Club, can I just ask you from a personal perspective, why did you feel it was needed? You know, why did you want to bring it to the table for people? Oh, um, you know, we all do because we're passionate about certain things. Um, and I, I love to help businesses, grow their businesses, but it's just excuse after excuse. Um, and the backbone of our economy is small business. Um, and I just thought that if, if all our business owners start working on our businesses, we can change the economy. We can create our own economy. And by doing the business club, first of all, um, by, by supporting us through Patreon, I can keep on doing these recordings because it, everything costs money. Yeah. Nothing is free in life. Yeah. And if you want to do things professionally, it costs money. Um, and later on, we want to help people with disability. Um, we in hearing for the last 20 years, so we want to help people that, that don't have access to certain services to help them with coaching to get into business because business is a backbone of the economy. So of all the excuses people had always was, I don't have money and I don't have time. The Worldwide Business Club solved that problem. Because you can listen in the car on your way to work, and for two dollars a week, do not tell me you can't afford two dollars a week. <laughs> I think that that for me sets it apart. And coaching isn't expensive because you're, you're using people's time. But you've gone. Let's give it to people who, who, who may be a little bit short. They can't afford the five or six hundred or even the one hundred dollars a week, but they can afford the two dollars. Get quality coaching. Have a community where they can talk to each other and support each other to do those great things. Business is lonely. If, yes. you, if you only one or two people in your business, it's lonely. So let's get a worldwide community. I mean, we've got so many subscribers all over the world. Let's start talking. And you will see we all have the same problems. <laughs> There's no perfect business in the world. If you're a one-man business, a multi-billion dollar business, there is no perfect business. So let's help each other communicating through the community yeah. and make it easier. And I know one of your hallmarks is you know for business to be successful, Gerard, you like them to be innovating, pushing boundaries, continuing to grow. And, and I think that is going to enable these people, these support mechanisms, to be able to start doing the things they've heard other people do, and now they're able to yeah. start doing it themselves. But, but again, we can show people the results, but if you don't take action, nothing will happen. Um, and I told Michael this morning, every time I come here, there's something new in the studio. Um, and that's, that's a way of Sometimes innovating. it doesn't work. <laughs> but you fix it. We fix it. Understand. Yeah. Um, like for you as well, it's just, I need to innovate my business. Mm -hmm. I need to make it better. If it's not working, I'll find a fault and make it work. But you didn't say, oh, well, guys, okay, we can't do it today. Mm -hmm. it, you have to keep on moving. You have to keep on getting up. You have to keep on innovating. That is success. The more actions you take, the more successful you will be. Fantastic. I did want to just introduce you our show, but I thought I'd just jump in. I want to just take a couple of minutes, give you a look behind the scenes that no, it's not always perfect. No. And in the studio, especially with, uh, if you're hosting it, the, the pressure's even more when things go wrong. You, you yes. do get stuck. I'm in the technical fixing that, but as someone who has to be on the game and bring it on, um, I just wanted people to know that you too also have to use the tools to get past those blocks and, and make it happen. Yeah. Business is not easy, guys. Um, but we have to support each other. And as a community, we can do it so much better. Um, we don't want to change one business at a time. We want to change thousands of businesses at a time. Um, and the resources are here. So make use of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.